arthropod predators are amazing, diverse, and very tough. Not even the most gruesome sci-fi creature you've ever seen can compete with the amazing predatory capabilities that insects, scorpions, spiders, and centipedes have adapted for taking down prey. Predators have a hard life. They need to detect, capture, and consume prey that are trying their very best to avoid being eaten. To overcome these defenses, predators have had to develop new and effective ways to capture their prey. The constant evolutionary battle between predators trying to capture their prey and prey trying to avoid being eaten has led to an escalation of offensive and defensive traits that is sometimes referred to as the evolutionary arms race. Arthropods are a group of animals with hard exoskeletons and segmented bodies that include arachnids, insects, and centipedes. Many arthropods have specialized body parts that are specifically adapted for capturing prey effectively. For example, Praying mantids are insects with modified grabbing or raptorial arms that they use to strike at prey in the flash of a second. A series of spines help them grab prey before it can flee and keep them from escaping. First, the mantis needs to detect its prey. Mantids have amazing eyesight, which allows them to detect movement from a good distance away. What makes mantis eyes so special is that they have zones that allows for very fine discrimination and lets in extra light. This combination gives them binocular vision which means that their vision overlaps to give them 3D sight, which is very rare in invertebrate. Watch how the mantis focuses on this moth, moving closely within striking distance before shooting out and grabbing it. Once trapped in its deadly claws, the moth has little chance of escaping as the mantis' tough mandibles or mouth parts quickly tear it to shreds. Praying mantids are very diverse in their appearance, which allows them to mimic everything from dead leaves to flowers. This not only helps them to avoid predators, but also enables them to catch unsuspecting prey that may mistake the mantis for something harmless. Now, praying mantises aren't the only insects that have modified their front limbs for prey capture. Other examples include ambush bugs or giant predatory water bugs like the belostomatids. Belostomatids are aquatic insects that will grab anything underwater, including things like frogs and tadpoles. Another group of arthropods, the arachnids, have also modified their bodies, legs, and leg-like structures called pedipalps. Look what the scorpion's done with its palps. Instead of being leg-like, they've turned into pinchers, which can grab and hold on to prey. Jumping spiders, or salticids, are the smartest of all spiders, able to undergo complex learning behaviors. They have exceptional vision, able to see all around them and with great acuity forward, meaning they can see small objects from very far away. Salticids tend to stalk their prey, just like a cat stalking a mouse. They also have strong back legs that allow them to leap great distances to strike their prey. Salticids are excellent predators, able to detect and capture their prey with high efficiency. While we humans see vision as our most important sense, many arthropods rely entirely on different senses, like touch, to locate their next meal. Most spiders build prey capture webs that help them to ensnare flying insects. You can think about the web as a way of extending the senses of the spider. The spider might be small, but its web is much larger, and the spider can get a lot of information by feeling the vibrations coming from its web. When the spider senses a small vibration in its web, it's likely that a small prey item, such as a fly or a moth, has gotten entangled. But if there's a large vibration, a potentially dangerous creature might be in the web, and the spider can know to either quickly flee or release the potential threat. Even without vision, the spider can make decisions based on the information from its web. Okay. So let's say you've detected a possible prey item and successfully captured it. What now? Well, for some predators, like tiger beetles and sulfugids, they simply start eating it right away. Those same powerful jaws that they'd used to capture the prey are used to shred and prepare the meal for consumption. But sheer force alone doesn't work for all predators. Many arthropods use venom to subdue their prey. You can think about venom as a cocktail of toxins and enzymes used to immobilize prey. Venom can outright kill prey, or it can slow them down to prevent them from injuring the predator. This massive scolopendra centipede is an amazing predator. They have many fast legs that they use to aggressively chase down their prey. They grab their prey with strong venom claws located behind their mouths. These venom claws have evolved from legs, but have turned into powerful curved structures that they use to deliver a nasty bite full of potent venom. Remember that venom helps prevent prey from struggling, which might injure the predator? Take, for example, the white-eyed assassin bug from Africa. It has a long, thin, piercing mouth part that it uses to jab into prey. This mouth part is fragile and might break if the prey struggles too much. After it strikes its prey, 
it injects an immobilizing toxin that immediately kills the prey. Enzymes in this venom help break down the insides of the cricket. For some arthropods, the strategies that they use to ensure successful prey capture include using each other. Arthropods that are social will coordinate their attack on a single organism that they then share with their relatives. Why do so many entomologists study arthropod predators? Arthropod predators are very good at what they do, catching and consuming a lot of prey. Around 75% of all known species are insects. About 400 of these are major pests. These insects cost millions of dollars in damage and affect world hunger. Humans have been taking advantage of the predatory prowess of arthropods in order to control agricultural pests and invasive species rather than using harmful pesticides. These predators are natural enemies for pests. We hope you've enjoyed these awesome examples of arthropod predators, but there's even more. You can even go check out some in your backyard and some you can keep as pets, like Stella here, my Vietnamese shield praying mantis.